Hello everyone, welcome back. In the last video, we deployed an application onto the local OpenShift cluster by using JBoss Developer Studio. We also created a server adapter and then we also learned how to make changes to this application on the fly and test it. In this video, we will see how to debug an application step-by-step -step debugging using JBoss Developer Studio. Let us first go to Servers tab and uh, this is the server adapter we created last time. We will restart this server adapter in debug mode. This will take a few seconds. You can see that the server adapter is starting now. Now you can see that the server adapter is now running in debug mode. Now let's go to source code and set some breakpoints. I'll navigate to a controller in this code and I'll set a breakpoint at this in the register method here. Now that we have a breakpoint set, let's go back to the OpenShift Explorer, get into the project and run this application via the browser. The application is now up in the browser. Enter some values here and I'll click on this register button. At this point, it is trying to switch the perspective from the regular Java EE development mode to debug perspective mode. So it's asking us to confirm that we are willing to change the perspective. Let's say yes. And you can see on the top here that it shifted from DevOps perspective to debug perspective now. And the application is now waiting at the breakpoint. Now you can do regular step-by-step -step debugging. So you can step over, step over, and go through the application line by line. So you can see how easy it is to do step-by-step -step debugging of an application running on your local OpenShift environment by using JBoss Developer Studio. Now let's run this application, let it complete, and let's switch back to the regular perspective. And if you don't want to debug anymore, all you do is go back and restart this in regular mode. Now the app is restarting, and in a moment, you'll see that it is started and synchronized. It doesn't say debugging anymore. So to summarize, we have learned how to debug using JBoss Developer Studio. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.